Please stand respectfully, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant Peter. You graciously grant favors to your heart and perception, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on our compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are our families, women, and blessed is the fruit of our body, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For our school friends and benefactors, especially for Mrs. Pastor, we offer our daily prayer. St. Nicholas, pray, pray for us. St. Rita, pray, pray for us. us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So look to the cross. I pledge allegiance to the cross of Christ and to the church for which it stands, one holy Catholic and apostolic, with grace and salvation for all. So lead to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The second Monday of Advent. This is from the Gospel of Luke. Jesus said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, Who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Do you know the book character Amelia Bedelia? The maid who follows directions exactly. If she's told to dust the furniture, she puts dust on the furniture so it is dusted. If she's told to change the sheets, she puts ribbons on them so they are changed. In a way, the Pharisees were like Amelia Bedelia. They studied the rules of the Jewish religion and followed them exactly. But Amelia Bedelia was funny. The Pharisees were not. They put the rules above kindness and mercy. Jesus both healed and forgave a man his sins, but the rules said that only God could forgive sins. What did the Pharisees miss about Jesus when they questioned his power to forgive sins? Good morning, boys and girls. I want to ask you to join me in prayer for those in our community who are sick, those who are struggling with cancer and other illnesses, and uh, ask for uh, a speedy return to good health for Teacher Perry, for Ted Judson, Polino, and all those in our community that need our uh, prayers to return to good health. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good start to your Monday. This week will be a little bit quieter than last week. I know we'll be doing lots of music practice. Looking forward to our Christmas program. On Wednesday, we'll have our half day. It'll be the Feast of the Immaculate Conception and Holy Day of Obligation. So we'll be joining the parish in Mass at 9 o'clock. And then we'll have our student-led parent-teacher conferences after that. Um, we have a few announcements. So I have two announcements to make. The first one is about our toy drive. So please donate unwrapped toys for boys and girls ages 0 to 18 years old. And you can place them under the tree in the hallway. The deadline for this is December 18th. And the second one is Student Council is selling candy grams. Um, you can give a candy gram to a friend to show how much you appreciate them. Uh, they're 50 cents each and they're on sale from December 6th to 10th at recess and lunch. And we're going to be delivering them on the 17th. Excellent. 
One last um, notice is that today our uh, some of our student council members and I will be going to the San Diego Rescue Mission to deliver our Socktober and one warm coat donation. So thank you so much for being such a giving and generous community. Look forward to seeing you today. Have a great day.